What's up everybody, Scott Brown here. Hey, uh, I got, uh, I'm in a new D71 PXI, it's a 2.0 machine. It's getting ready to do an IMU cal, figure make a quick video over here. It's a little different from the same process, but different, it makes it a little more simplified. So if we go into our menu here, we we'll go to control machine calibration. If you don't see it in here, most likely that menu is locked out. Um, usually we lock out these other cal steps, but like to leave IMU in there. So what it's showing us now is it's showing us our current updated position of our sensors and then what we're actually reading so you can see we're out here so the idea of this is I'm sitting on some concrete here is the ideal situation to do this in but I'm gonna face right now I'm facing west um, I'm gonna basically hit the calibrate button it's gonna take a measurement I'm gonna spin this machine around I've got some nice concrete lines to line up inside of makes it really easy use paint or whatever you got out in the field uh, but prim you definitely want a hard surface where you're your grousers are not going to penetrate is ideal. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to take a measurement facing west here. I'm going to spin around east, line up in the same position. I'm going to hit calibrate again. And then basically what it's going to do is average out the difference in the sensors. I always try to do, like on this concrete, it slopes just a little bit to the west, a little bit to the north. So I always do one uh, east and west, and I always do one north and south is ideal. And, and then I do a check after that where I don't actually do the calibrate. I just check and make sure everything's matching up. So I'm sitting here, machine's at idle, um, not moving around. So I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate. It says move the machine to a flat hard plane, ground tilt plus or minus a degree. Um, do that, it's not always possible. Raise the blade above ground, don't move until instructed. So I hit next and so now it's taking a reading of the IMU position. Um, I shouldn't probably have my front camera on here. It's been a minute since I've uh, clean up the beard but it's all right you can judge me all right so now it says turn the machine 180 from previous stationary state plus or minus five degrees stop machine so so on so forth so hit next so it's going to get loud for me i'm just going to whip this thing around here real quick same lines I was in prior like I said I've got good concrete marks out here to make this real easy but marking paint does the trick too I always idle it down so you can see here now we're not agreeing on our numbers go and hit next that's why I like to do this more than once it tightens it up it's just gonna take a, me a measurement of this position average out our numbers Before you had to do this all manually so now it's going to update the sensor so i'm just going to hit finish and then i'm not going to video this next bit but now i'm going to go north and south and do the same thing um, and then if you want it you can just check that uh, if you go in to imu you, you, there's a good way to know this is if we could zero out our blade and using our screen down here our blade slope and our body slope match usually is a pretty good quick check um, but yeah, it's real simple IMU cal. You can do that out in the field, but just be aware that if you don't have a great surface to do it on and your grousers penetrate differently on each step, then you're going to end up with some weird results. Um, so, yep. About the only real thing that needs to be checked on these machines, uh, usually if someone tells me one side's out or, or the machine's getting out a little bit, that's kind of the first thing I lean towards. Um, usually don't see a lot of error, but you can see a little bit of error if that's getting out of tolerance on your calibration so if you guys got questions shoot me a message or hop on our website you can get my phone number and email and get a hold of us if you need anything from us all right take it easy